The other game, the other game I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, during that finals run was game four against the the Warriors. Um, we recently had Steph on the podcast and he talked about that game specifically. He called it his favorite game of his career. And I wanted to get your perspective. And I don't, I don't mean to bring up a, a bad night, but your perspective on the other side of playing against that and witnessing that live in person in a hostile environment in Boston. Yeah. Um, I mean, Steph was special. Um, I mean, especially the whole series, but um, especially that game, uh, just trying to, to will them to that victory. Um, I mean, we win that game. I think we, we win the series for sure. But um, I just think we were winning the whole game, leading, uh, doing what we needed to do, and then just having that those couple moments at the end of the game that, that cost us it, uh, kind of just, I want to say broke us, but it, it, like, we never really bounced back from that. Um, and so, uh, I mean, obviously, Steph was special that game. Um, I mean, it, I was impressed, not impressed, but, like, his consistency through the whole uh, old finals was was impressive to me. And, like, um, he's been on that stage. He's he's done that before, and, and none of us had ever done that before and or been on that stage before. So. Uh, that experience, that um, familiarity that they had, I think was a, a big advantage for them and um, something that we all learned from. Uh, I think we all grew from. That's kind of why we started the way we started and um, chasing him over screens and having him give it up and still chasing and he did that the whole series. And, um, and it kind of opened my eyes to like I need to work on things that I need to work on to, to have that level of consistency as well. I think this is not, I'm not saying this about the Celtics in, in, you know, specifically, but I I think there's an element with Steph. We've talked to a number of of guys that have guarded him and I I didn't have to guard him a ton, but certainly on a switch, you know, I'm chasing him or I'm getting ISO blown by. He got blown by a few times in ISO against Steph. Um, There's an element of like, all right, we're going to put multiple bodies on him. We're going to, we're going to chase him. We're going to be physical. We're going to wear him down. (laughs) <laughs> and it seems like at this point in his career with his conditioning and how he's changed his body and his strength, it's almost like, nah, he's wearing you down. Yeah, <laughs> um, exactly. I think it'd be interesting. Just, you mentioned just the chasing part, but you know, for our listeners, our, our viewers on YouTube, the challenge of guarding him specifically, like what, what are they? What, what makes him so different? Yeah. Um, I mean, everybody talks about doing the, the same thing. Like that's what we that was the game plan. Um, and uh, I mean, it's just forty eight minutes of where is Steph? Like <laughs> <laughs> you got to know where he is at all times, and uh, just trying to find him on the court, um, make his life difficult. And so um, it's just that mental strain of where is he on the court? I mean, obviously the way their offense is and, and the way he impacts the offense. Like he has so much gravity that it kind of opens up everything, other things for everybody else too. So uh, just find Steph. Um, is he coming off a screen? Does he have the ball? Does he not have the ball? Um, he just is constant of paranoia, I guess, for lack of a better word of like trying to limit him and um, just trying to find a, find a way to slow him down. That's probably, that's one of the best descriptions that I've heard. Like there's a paranoia with Steph. You mentioned awareness. And I I think that's one of the unique things about game planning for him. Like on a scouting report, you might have hot guys, right? These are the guys you got to run off the line. Uh, You might have an ISO guy. Here's how we're going to guard ISOs. Here's how we're going to guard post-ups. Um, the Steph game plan is just like, he's him. Like, he is him. You have to f- know where he is at all times because he can score in so many different ways and he moves so fucking much. Yeah. Yeah, just find him. Uh, <laughs> like, that's the first thing you do. Like, you miss a shot, you try to find Steph. Uh, I mean, best shooter the game has ever seen. Uh, can shoot it from anywhere. Um, off the dribble, off the catch. So. That's just what makes him him different than than any person this game has ever seen, and um, and obviously his conditioning and the way he moves without the ball, and 
he gives it up. You got to heighten up your awareness of him even more. So, um, I mean, it was an intense six games of chasing him and, and just trying to find him and, and slow him down any way we could.